as oh hello guys this is the dinosaur master here and today i'll be reviewing my welcome to dinosaurs 3d scalar model um so this is not gonna be one of my ordinary model reviews um because this is actually a figure made for a movie called welcome to dinosaurs 3d and um so the first thing I would like to point out uh, before I start re reviewing this model um, is that is that spoiler alert. So if you haven't yet seen the movie um, and you want and you want to see it, um, then just don't watch this video because um, I will be pointing out some important details that will happen in the movie and that might spoil it for you when you watch the movie in person. So uh, if you don't, uh, so uh, so unless uh, so unless you don't care about spoilers, then don't watch this video. Okay. All right. So yeah. All right, so let's just talk about Scalar. Scalar is a is a male Pachyrhinosaurus that is featured in the film Welcome to Dinosaur City, which came out uh, uh, in 2013, which is a few years ago. Um, it came out around Christmas, so actually, yeah, probably around the a few days before Christmas. So, yeah, it was a yeah. All right, um, so Scalar is um. So Scalar often bullies his younger brother Patchy, who is more like the 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 runt of the litter, uh, is more like the the runt of the herd, and you know like Patchy always uh, is very clumsy and often, you know uh, he always gets in danger and so sometimes Scalar has to save him. Other times um, he needs to be saved by his father Bodas. Yeah, so so um you know pretty so that kind of gets so then Scalar um kind of takes takes uh opportunity of that and starts and um bullies no yeah takes t takes advantage of that and bullies patchy throughout the journey and uh you know and during the end during the middle of the film when they grow up uh Skeller challenges patchy for for the right uh to be the, the leader of the herd and almost kills patchy but luckily patchy gets up and and be able to make it so yeah uh so that's just something i wanted to say about scalar um i think he is one of the more healthier uh pachymanosaurs in in the film and the herd because of his darker color and he has this very dark mo uh this very darkish gray coloration and a little bit of brown here and for the head we have this uh more lighter coloration like a grayish color and here we have a dark brown color so um that kind of so that kind of indicates that uh that Skeller is one of the more healthier males of the herd unlike the others like his siblings and patchy who have a who have a lighter tannish color so he's probably the the male that the females would like to mate with more than the other ones like um patchy and and uh his younger siblings yeah so it's probably one of the more healthier males in the herd and and kind of resembles his father because of similar coloration and a, you know similar head and head coloration yeah but you know patchy's patchy more resembles his mother so yeah uh what else um the, the detail of the model isn't the best i've seen um if you compare it with the papo pachymanosaurus which i have here uh just a second Yeah, so if you so if you, so if you compare Scalar with um the other uh Petbo Pachymanosaurus, um there is not really a yeah, it's yeah, so this is probably um beats this the walking with dinosaurs scalar because of it has much more detail. Just like I like to see it with Papo, it's the best at making um uh, dinosaur models and making them look excellent. So that's why the detail here is much better than than scalars. So yeah, we even have a nice scar here. Yeah, so oh, there's a lot of good details in this. You can even see the scale. So so you know. So I think the the Papua Brachiosaurus is far better than the walking with dinosaurs um Pachymanosaurus. So if you want a uh, uh Pachymanosaurus um to your collection, then I would recommend the Papua one because it's much better and much more detailed. So yeah, I'm not saying this is a bad mono. It's a good mono, but it's just far beaten by this one. So yeah. Um, what else would I like to say about this mono? Um. The cool thing about it is that there's a lot of movable joints that are featured in it, like uh, these legs you can move. Uh, hold on. Uh, like the legs here, 
uh, yeah, see, you can move it to different places, so, yeah, it's very nice for kids to play with, and, you know, just have fun with it, uh, you can see the legs here are also movable, so that's always nice, um, you got a movable jaw, too, so you can move the jaw around and have fun with it, you even got a movable head, so you could move the head from different directions, you can make, even make it go upward to do some silly things, like this, okay. Hold on, it's kind of hard to do. There. Yeah. Yeah, so you can even move the head up too. Yeah, that's nice. That's always nice, and you can make it go down towards, like he's charging almost. Um, yeah. Uh. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is that it has this beautiful eye spots on its frill, which would have been used for intimidation, and also as well to attract a mate. Um... Uh, what else? Oh, we've got the bony ridge here on the on the snout, which would be used for well, having, like, which would be used for jousting contests during the mating season, like this. <laughs> it's a nice little demonstration used for jousting contests during the mating season. So yeah, when the males compete over a mate, so that's how uh, Patchy and and uh, Scalar fought. Uh, during the movie like this. Yeah, so they headbutt with each other. That's, that's really cool. So that's used to headbutt with each other. I uh, got the nostril here. And the ear. Oh, it's hard to see, but it's there. Got these little horns on the side of the face. And another very cool feature here is that it will make sounds. So that's very fun for kids to play with. Uh, so little children will probably enjoy playing with the model and, you know, doing f funny stuff with it and uh, making it roar. Yeah, so it's more of a children's model than a model um, 